The proposed legislation, amongst others, provides for the establishment of the Procurement Policy Unit, which will be the technical arm of the Ministry and responsible for the implementation of the Procurement Policy, reviewing the law and ensure the effective implementation and compliance. The Finance Minister said with the creation of the Central Procurement Board, experts employed by the Ministry will make the tendering process transparent and efficient. Schledwein said only the board chairperson and the deputy would be employed on a full-time basis. Unlike at present, bid evaluations will be done at the Central Procurement Board by the Bid Evaluation Committee, constituted by persons having the required expertise and appointed on an ad hoc basis. This will enable the Central Procurement Board to have full control over the process and avoid delays <coughs> with the timely completion of evaluation award and implementation of contracts. The bill also creates a preferential procurement policy to allow government to offer empowerment and growth incentives to different categories of bidders. The bill therefore provides for preferences to local products, previously disadvantaged groups, women and youth, small and medium-sized enterprises and Namibian enterprises in general. The policy unit will give particular attention to preferences and monitor performance with a view to ensure a positive economic impact of the empowerment measures taken. The bill was withdrawn from the National Assembly in October 2013 after various parliamentarians raised concerns about the exclusion of the Namibian Defence Force, the Namibian Central Intelligence Services and police forces from the application of the bill which has been addressed in the new bill. Salmi Hangula, NBC News, Vinduk.